This is a Continental IO520, one of the smoothest and most efficient engines in general aviation. But the 520 has one problem. Its log and runner induction system, shown here, doesn't do the best job of evenly distributing fuel and air mixture. As a result, General Aviation Modifications has developed a calibrated fuel injector nozzle to correct fuel and air imbalances. Here's Gammy's George Brawley to explain how it works. So we've seen this on the engine. These are the three fuel injectors in this schematic for cylinders one, three, and five. The fuel comes down through the fuel injectors, goes to the uh, intake valve. Unfortunately, part of the fuel comes down the runner in the runner log branch induction system. Some of that fuel that comes down the runner gets caught up in the airflow going to the forward cylinders, and that fuel that's there ends up going up into the forward cylinder. It runs rich. This one runs less rich. That uh, imbalances the air-fuel ratio. This is the problem the game ejectors fix by biasing the fuel flow. So that's how it works. So now let's go see how the, uh, the game ejector fuel injectors are made. So here's three uh, game ejector fuel injectors. These are brand new, right fresh out of this box. And we're going to show you how they're made here real quickly. They start out and they come through the bar stock feeder in this machine. They come out partially made with one end unfinished. They then get turned around. We finish the other end and it comes out as a mostly finished fuel injector in this form. But the critical part's not done yet. The really critical part is this little metering orifice. This little tiny thing, and it has to be inserted into the nozzle. And then we have to take it to the flow bench and calibrate it. That's the most difficult part to get that right. It's really hard to do. We're going to show you how we do that next. So we've seen how the fuel injectors were made in the machine shop, and the very precise metering orifice has been mated to the gamma ejector fuel injector, but it still has to be calibrated. We're in the calibration room. John's working here today building fuel injectors for us today. Um, and we're going to take a closer look at how he does this. John's got a, a nozzle that's ready to be uh, calibrated, and the first thing he's going to do is size it using this reamer in his right hand, and he'll run that down in the nozzle and just barely pre-size uh, the metering orifice. So now he's going to insert it in the flow bench. We're going to flow it and measure the flow, and there's an initial stream, and down to about two or three decimal places we can measure the flow in pounds per hour. Now John got lucky, this nozzle after the first ream was basically on spec, so uh, it's pretty much going to be good to go uh, where it's at right now. If the nozzle doesn't make spec the first time around, GAMI continues the reaming process by trial and error. Each GAMI ejector set is customized to the engine it will be installed on. That's done by conducting a simple lean test using an engine monitor. Once the nozzles are calibrated, they're installed in the engine just as any other nozzle would be. The nozzles shown here are for a turbocharged engine. That's the upper deck air reference line being attached. Reference air is critical to achieve efficient fuel atomization. Once installed, each injector gets a number and a matching placard for the valve cover so mechanics can keep things straight. You can find out more about GAM ejector fuel injection nozzles and obtain a leaning test sheet by logging on to GAMI.com. I'm Paul Bertarelli reporting for AvWeb. Thanks for watching.